God sent his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. To buy my pardon. To buy my pardon. To buy my pardon. This morning as I sang that song with my husband in worship, the thought struck me that the most expensive gift that has ever been purchased in the history of humanity was purchased by Jesus on the cross. I want you to think about the most expensive gift that you have ever purchased or received. For some of us ladies, it's our wedding ring. It cost thousands of dollars. You know, our fiancés at the time saved up maybe three or four or six months worth of money and actually purchased this most expensive, glorious wedding ring for others. It's a vehicle. They were surprised with a, with a brand new Tesla, a brand new Mercedes, a brand new Lincoln, a brand new Lexus. For some, it's a house. The house is beautiful. You're, you're, you, you and your spouse, you yourself maybe, you went out of your way to try and, and buy that best house with the perfect layout and the sunroof and the pool and, you know, finished basement and bathrooms on every floor plus a majestic ensuite bathroom with the jacuzzi because, you know, we love the jacuzzi. And we have done these things buying good gifts. And there's nothing wrong with them. I'm not knocking the gifts. Don't get me wrong. Don't miss my point. They are good gifts. They are expensive gifts. They are worthwhile gifts. But as I sang that song this morning, it occurred to me that in the history of mankind from Adam to 2020 and how many ever years in the future the earth remains there has never been a gift as expensive as the blood of Jesus he was born he was born to save humanity he was born to lift up himself as a sacrifice for us, he was born and he said in his word, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. He was born to die. He was born to buy you and I. What are we going to do with this most valuable gift? Do we seek this gift? Maybe once a day if we remember. Once a week when we turn on the TV program of church since we can't gather together. Do we seek this gift night and day? Do we walk and talk with this person of a gift who has made himself the way, the truth, and the life that we can have someone to walk with us? What are we doing with this most valuable gift? Do we share it with others? Do we tell someone about the love of God? Or do we hide in shame and pretend like they don't need to know or justify our reasons for not sharing this prayer and fasting as you lift up your petitions to God I want to invite you to look high and to remember that this Christ who left heaven this Messiah, the 
Christ Jesus was born to die, to buy you and I. God bless you as you prepare your hearts to seek his face. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, today we thank you for buying the world with your blood. Thank you, Lord, for buying us back from an enemy who wanted to destroy us by enslaving us to sin. Thank you, God, for leaving heaven to be born just to buy our freedom and give us salvation. May our lives always reflect the value you placed on us by dying for us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.